What's up, everybody? My name is Mark. I am the owner of Hangman at Work, a hangman service that provides maintenance service repairs and we service uh, residential and commercial homes. So uh, what I want to talk about is not serving you with the handy skills that I have, but talk to you and just a little bit of um, how you say um, uh, knowledge as, uh, when it comes to installing a uh, sink, stainless steel, elongated basket. This is what it is. That right there. That we're talking about today. Now, the reason why I'm talking about this is because I do a lot of um, work in residential buildings. Uh, and um, I come to time and time, I run into uh, installations on baskets. And when I see these baskets and how they install, it just blows my mind. Um, one, you guys love to use plumber's putty. I mean, plumber's putty is like gold to the plumber and to the handyman. But um, I'm here to say, stop using plumber's putty. The reason why I say that is because when I come to do the job and I see 10 pounds of plumber's putty on a basket, not even not on the basket, you guys like using it on the, on the, the the, the tail pieces, the nuts, uh, the, the um, offsets, you guys put plumber's putty on the nuts. I don't understand why you do that. There is no reason to put plumber's putty on the nuts of the offsets or the, or the tail piece. I don't get it. Um, you guys love using plumber's putty. I, it, just, it just bothers me so much. But anyway, so I can set the record straight because this has been a controversy. The middle of that. Con controversy, da -da -da, a controversy that's been going on for a while, saying that you know you have to use plumber's putty. Well, I'm here to tell you, you don't have to use plumber's putty, people. Yes, you don't have to use plumber's putty. This kit, this kit right here, basket kit, comes with everything that you need inside to install this. It's a very easy installation, and I'm gonna show you. talk about this nut right here goes on to the threaded part you guys have a tendency when you put the stem the, the straight pipe on it you guys have a tendency to use plumber's putty on this I don't get it it comes with a plastic ring washer that goes right here that's what this is for and then you guys will put the washer and put 10 pounds of plumber's putty can't get that. I don't understand. But go. Yeah. I used to have a top like that when I was young. I'm sorry. Just uh, enjoy doing that. So now, my thing is, I'm going to show you. Let's take this back to the car. This is the other piece. And this is the famous rubber gasket I'm talking about. Okay. Now, this is part of the basket. This is the part that goes into the sink, and you, on this brim here, you guys love to put the plumber's putty on here. Plumber's putty is not good. This comes with the kit. This is what you need to use, this black gasket here. It's rubber, and you put it in here. Now, let me explain to you why. When you use plumber's putty, okay, plumber's putty, let me tell you what plumber's putty is. Plumber's putty is like Play-Doh. Like the kids, they play with Play-Doh, that's what plumber putty Plumber's putty is, it's like a Play-Doh. You, you, you roll it and then you shape it around the edge of this brim and then you put it in. And as you're putting it in and you put this nut and you put the nut and you tighten it, you squeeze in the plumber's putty and it oozes around the brim, okay? And then you guys take the access off and then you leave it like that, okay? Well, I'm here to tell you that's not a good idea. You, need to stop. you guys need to stop doing that. Only because unless you want to keep going back to your clients, or, you know, and, and keep fixing work that you, you've done, you don't, you only want to go to your clients when you have a second job, not the first job twice, okay? So this is what I'm going to tell you. I don't use plumber's putty. 
there's no reason for it. When you have the kit and the kit brings everything you need to install, this is a basic installation. It's not hard for you to do, okay? So I'm gonna to explain to you why don't you use this gasket, okay? Now, plumbers put that plumbers put in handyman that say they handyman, they use it. They say, oh, you gotta use it, it's good, it'll prevent it from leaking. Wrong. It will leak. Don't you see? It's it's like a it's like it is what it says. Putty. It's a putty that you put around. Now, when you install this and the putty's in installed and your basket is installed, after a while, when you're using hot and cold water, it it, it it's water's always going to find its way in the gaps. Okay, and if there's no gaps, there will be. When every time you throw pots and pans and you're constantly running water and it loosens up the the putty, okay, after a while. And then when you're putting pots and stuff under the sink, you tend to hit the pipe. It, it might wedge it one side and wedge it the other side and it loosens. So what happens is when the water seeps in, water always will find its way, well, especially hot water. When it seeps in, it deteriorates, it deteriorates the putty that's around here. So that's why, and then it becomes, it starts leaking. Rubber gasket, you put it on the brim, you put it and you install it, you tighten it, and there you go. It's never gonna leak. It won't deteriorate because it's rubber. This will last you guarantee more life on the, the rubber than the the plumber's putty, because what happens is the plumber's putty is going to wear out due to the hot water, or period, water in general, because water is always going to find its way, and it's going to sit in there for a while, and then it's going to make it moist, and then what happened was it starts deteriorating and breaking in pieces, and that's what happens, and then the next thing you know, your basket is moving around in the sink, because you guys use plumber's putty. Do not use plumber's putty. You professional plumbers and handymen, you must like doing your job twice. I do a job, I do it once, and I do it right. You have everything in the kit. The kit don't come with a tube of plumber's putty. You use what the kit has, and that's it. And that's what we do at Handyman at work. We use the right stuff, and we do a job once. So if you ever need a handyman to do a job, call us or look us up, handymanatwork70.com. Or call us at 631-303-0647, okay? And my name is Mark, I hope you enjoyed this video. So, subscribe and you'll get more videos.